It's a wonderful thing to remind ourselves every day that God is with us, that he never leaves us and never forsakes us, even though sometimes we don't feel it. If you've been enjoying these episodes, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or click like on our Facebook page and that way you'll always be notified when new content gets uploaded. It says in Jeremiah 20 verse 11, But the Lord is with me as a mighty, awesome one. Therefore my persecutors will stumble, they will not prevail. I wonder if some of you this morning are feeling a bit overwhelmed by life. You're feeling that God isn't really there, that he isn't really hearing you, and that he seems so far away. That is the very moment to remind yourself that God will never leave you nor forsake you, that God is always with you. I really encourage you today to invite God into everything, into the small things, into the decisions you have to make, into the purchases you have to buy, into the transactions that you're dealing with and the interactions with other people. I remember a number of years ago, I was about to go into what I thought was going to be a very difficult meeting in work. And something in my spirit prompted me to just pause very briefly in my spirit and say, Father, give me your insight, give me your wisdom, be with me. I give this moment to you in Jesus' name. Amen. And from being conflicted and anxious about that meeting, I walked in there with my spirit settled and my heart open. And it wasn't an easy meeting, but what was wonderful it was at the end of that meeting, we reached the conclusion that we wanted to have. Relationships were built, decisions were made, and the atmosphere had changed. And the atmosphere had changed because Jesus had been invited into that room. And it's not like he wasn't there, but by me taking that moment to pause and think and rest in him, I was aware of his presence and I invited him to be part of it. It says in Isaiah 42 verse 6, I am the Lord, I have called you in righteousness. I will take you by the hand and keep you. God takes us by the hand and he encourages us to look and see that he is holding our hand. It's a wonderful thing to think about how God is interested in the very small minutiae of our lives, as well as the great big decisions. And sometimes we feel that we have to make those decisions on our own, that somehow God isn't interested in our next pay packet, that God isn't interested in whether we get on with our neighbour, that God isn't interested about that difficult relationship you have with a sibling or a former friend. God's interested in everything and God is involved in everything and his truth is that he will never leave us, that he has taken you by the hand and that he is bringing you into his kingdom and growing you as a child of God every single day. So if you're feeling today that God is very far away, I just really encourage and urge you to speak out truth. Speak out the truth that God is, has taken you by the hand that he is with you, that he is going to lead and guide you, that your enemies will not prevail because Jesus has conquered sin and death and he loves you with an everlasting love and he's interested in you and every aspect of you. As we finish our time today, we're just going to take communion and by taking the communion, we remind ourselves every day of how Jesus loves us and the sacrifice that he made for us. And the bread reminds us of, of his body, his body broken for us, his body that sets us free to live a new life, transformed more and more into his likeness. And as we take this juice, it reminds us of his blood spilled for us, his blood that sets us free from sin and death, his blood that makes it powerful and transformative in our lives today. So Father, this morning, I pray that you would bless each one of us, that you would take us into a new relationship with you. Father, thank you that you have taken us by the hand, that you have brought us into your kingdom, 
and you lead and guide us every single day of our lives, even at those times when we don't feel it. Thank you, Father. Amen. Be blessed today and know the sense of God with you every single step.